Microsoft's Visual Chat GPT. I think this is one of the coolest thing I have ever seen in AI thingy. Chat GPT, Bard AI, Microsoft, Bing AI. We have seen all of them. But this one, this one is really cool. Really, really cool actually. So this is a official GitHub repository for Visual Chat GPT. Uh, it's by the Microsoft and this is really cool project and it can do really cool things. We have some demos here, uh, how this thing works and how you can use it. And uh, it looks like you can edit your images. Uh, they put the flowers in cat image. <laughs> cool. They put more trees in lake image. There is another demo on Visual Chat GPT where they interact with it. And they ask it to generate cat image, dog image. They ask it to edit the image, remove object from the image. Wow, this is so cool actually. <laughs> and you can use this Visual Chat GPT right now. There are a couple of ways to use this. You can either install it on your PC, which I haven't done yet, or you can use it in Google Collab or Hugging Face. I don't think I need to explain each and everything about this because uh, you guys are smart and you can just go here and learn more about it how it works it actually uses multiple ais to do the things what it can do yeah <laughs> like for example it uses uh, chat gpt plus the stable diffusion control net and many more ais tools together and it actually is amazing concept it's not just a concept anymore. It's actually working right now. I can show you. So let's use it in Hugging Face. If you click on these links, open in space, it will take you to the Hugging Face. If you open it in Collab, it will open in uh, Google Collab. All you need is OpenAI's API key. You can go to OpenAI's website. From there, you can sign up. And from there, you can get OpenAI keys. You can just click on create a new key and copy that and don't show it publicly just keep it secret right and paste it in where it says enter the open ai's key and hit enter if you're using it in hugging face and then you'll see a text box where you can type and run clear and upload button so now you have the access to the visual chat gpt all right let me try this out hey I'm just gonna type that out. Wow, it replied. Uh, hey there, how can I help you? <laughs> Another way to use this, uh, that is by using a Google Collab. Simply just go to this link, open in Collab, and here you'll see all these things. All you have to do is run each command one by one. First, uh, download visual chat gpt and run this command just hit on this play button and run all right and then once that's done you have to set up the directory so just set up the directory by clicking on this play icon and just keep doing that install packages just play that uh, set up your openai key here which you can get from openai's website under user openai keys and create a new secret key once everything is done you'll reach to the last option which will say run visual chat gpt just run it it will take around 10 to 15 minutes to set it up so i have it set it up already uh, I have everything downloaded here. All I need to do is run the visual chat GPT. I'm just going to run it just to show you guys the demo, how it looks and how it works. It will give you the visual chat GPT's interface actually. And it will also take some time. It will download dependencies and stuff like that. So it may take around five to 10 minutes. So Okay, it's running now. It will give you two URLs running on local URL and running on public url so i'm just gonna click on public url because that's the one works actually for me so i'm just gonna open it in new tab and here we have the real visual chat gpt interface here we can type or upload image i'm just gonna upload image because i can okay let's try this out i'm just gonna type hey and let's see what happens oh okay it responded uh, so I have the token in Google Collab. You can actually see what's happening uh, if you get error. So you can see all the errors and 
the things that is happening right now. So you can see it actually received my image. So let's let's try this out. Okay, I'm gonna ask it to describe the image that I uploaded. Uh, hopefully it will work. I'm just gonna check it here. Wow, okay. Oh no, oh no. I think uh, I have the paid account set up here. I think it's, oh no, it's, it's taking my money. Oh, okay, for this tutorial, I'm gonna let OpenAI to take some money. So actually it's working because I have the paid account set up and it looks like it's working right now. Very cool. So let's, let's go even further. I'm gonna ask it to remove the moon from the image. Let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> it didn't do what I asked. I need to describe things better. You know, I have better idea. Let's upload this image. Yeah, it's receiving. All right. I'm going to ask it to remove the dog from the picture. Oh, no. <laughs> Why is this happening? I think uh, there is something wrong with me or uh, this. Uh, for some reason, I can't edit the image, but I can ask it to generate the images for me i think cat riding a horse how about that i'm pretty sure that's not a cat and <laughs> the image itself is cool but i'm pretty sure that's not a cat wow okay i was here to do the tutorial it's acting weird i don't know what happened but something is happening here everything is going crazy and uh, this is how you can use visual chat gpt in google collab or hugging face even though it didn't work out the way i want it to <laughs> i mean check out the demos okay it's it's really cool and yeah it works flawlessly but it didn't work flawlessly for me okay you guys will figure out what's up all right so yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yes, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.